Hello, hello, and welcome to Strong Body, Strong Mind. Today, for this workout, you are going to need a selection of kettlebells, perhaps a medium to heavy size set of dumbbells, and then you're also going to need a step. Um, we are going to go through two strength sets. Uh, we've bumped up the rest time to 15 seconds, making this a, a little bit better, a little bit more applicable to you being in your luteal phase, kind of towards the tail end. Then we're going to finish the workout with two different Tabata sets. Now, if you are in, again, the later phase of your luteal um, cycle, you can tone it down. Stay with us on the Tabata, still work for the 20 seconds, rest for the 10, but just don't ramp it up as much as you would, say, if you were at the beginning of your cycle in follicular or in ovulation, okay? All right, so starting down on the floor, we're going to begin with some cat-cows. <clears throat> Hands right underneath your shoulders, knees right underneath your hips. Inhale the belly towards the floor. Exhale, push and round the spine towards the ceiling. Oh, that feels so good. Inhale, pull through. As we're going through the warm-up here, go ahead and check in with yourself. Of course, ask yourself, where are you at in your cycle? How did you sleep? How have you fueled yourself last 24, even 48 hours? <clears throat> and then, of course, where are your stress levels at? Work, family, relationships, all of the all of the things. What stresses are you dealing with? See if you can bring presence to your breath and your body for the next 45 minutes. Maybe an hour, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see how long this all takes us. Let's turn those toes under, meet up in downward facing dog, pedal at your feet, <clears throat> lengthening, tipping your sits bones up towards the ceiling, pushing very, very tall through the shoulders, yet keeping space between your shoulders and your ears. Settling on in, we're gonna pull forward, runner's lunge. Reach that arm up, thread it on through. Five more here, reach it up, thread it through for four. Exhale through for three, for two. Reach it on up, thread it through. Beautiful, leaning back in that plank position. Holding here for a moment. Excellent. Left leg steps up. <clears throat> Reach it on up. Thread it through. Beautiful. For five. Exhale through. For four. For three. For two. For one. Coming through to the center, wide-legged forward fold. Toe heel those feet in just a little bit, so it's a little bit more narrow. We're going to drop down to a deep malasana. Reach those hips back up. Sitting down nice and low. Using your elbows to drive those knees out. Perfect. Hips back up, forward fold. Lengthening your spine, letting your head be nice and heavy in that forward fold. Forward fold. And here in that malasana, letting your hips be nice and heavy. Two more. One more. Sitting down in that deep squat, try to reach your arms up. Stand it up tall. Let's bring those feet in a little bit. Reaching those arms overhead. A couple body weight squats here. Certainly more challenging than I expect it to be to do that overhead squat. Arms really want to pull forward. Perfect. Let's do two more. Pull yourself to the bottom. Reach on up, taking a left leg over the right, grab the right wrist, stretch. Passing through, switch it up, and stretch. One more time. Reach. Whew. And one more time. Reach. Fantastic. Okay. So now, we're going to go into our dynamic portion. We have 10 kettlebell swings. And then we're going to go into five kettlebell squat cleans. We'll kind of take a little moment between those two. We'll do that two times, and then we'll get into our strength piece. So starting with those kettlebell swings, finding a weight that's suitable for you. They're all pros now, so you know which weights you're working with. Setting yourself up, reaching on down. 
Keep those hips low as you hike the bow back and start your swings. Perfect. Remember, it's a hip hinge movement, and yet the knees also bend. After your 10th, we park it right where we found it. Beautiful. Only five kettlebell squat cleans. Remember, with the squat clean, we catch it in that squat position. Stand over your bow, reach on down, down, vertical torso, pull, catch, stand tall. Perfect. Four more. <sighs> nice work. Let those hips be quick. Get under the bow, push tall. <sighs> One more right here. <sighs> Excellent. Take a breather. Your girl is feeling a little. <laughs> A little slow in the hips. We'll go through one more time. Take a moment to reflect, right? Again, my own reflection of myself was that my hips were a little slow. Hopefully on this round, I can get those hips a little quicker, especially on those squat things, right? We want to be quick, explosive, and get under that bell. Okay. Starting up with the swings. <clears throat> Reminder too that on the swings, it's this game, what is the game that I'm talking about? Can't think of it anyways, but it is a game of patience. You wanna be quick and explosive with your hips, and then you wanna be patient and try not to break until the bell is here, really until it's here, and then we break in the hips into a hip hinge and a slight knee bend. All right, round two, here we go. Perfect. All right, I think we're waking up a little bit. Squat clean. Here we go. Pull it, catch, stand tall. Keep that core braced. One more. Sort of fast, sort of not. Mixed reviews on that one. Okay, moving on. We're gonna go into our first strength set. We're gonna need a step. What we've got going on. All 45 seconds on one side. Then we'll go over to the other side for another 45. We have lateral step up, step it down to a curtsy. Step it up. Step it on down. If you wanted to add something with your arms, you absolutely can. I'm gonna have two weights right here by my side. I'm not going into curls or anything. We do do those in a later strength set, if that helps you out there. Again, then we go over to the other side, and then we have incline push-up. Option one, incline push-up, knee to elbow. Option two, bring the knee up. Try to do your push-up. Put the foot down, bring the other knee up, try to do your push up, right? <clears throat> that second version is a little bit more advanced. It is going to certainly work your core a little bit more. You can also do a hybrid, right? You can do a little bit of both. Feel it out, just try to do your push ups for the 45 seconds at an incline position, trying to hit almost like right here to the step as opposed to anywhere up by your face, okay? Pull to a nice open chest. All right. <clears throat> Take it off in about 15 seconds. <clears throat> Breathe with it. Mindful connection to your body. We take off in five, four, three, two, here we go. <sighs> Deep curtsy, and then bring it right back up. It is a little bit easier if you step down somewhat close to your step. The further away you step, the harder it is to get back up. 30 seconds. If you wanna pose that challenge to yourself, I say bring it, but otherwise keep yourself in fairly close. 20 seconds. Come on. You got it. 13. 
push. Last eight. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work. I feel like it might be a little tight over here. Okay, taking off in eight seconds. Four, three, two. Here we go. Losing my balance. Up. Strong hip hinge on your curtsies. Try to make sure that you keep your shoulders and hips facing straight ahead. Less than 30. Nice work, ladies. Come on. 20 seconds. Belly is tight. Excellent. We're here for 10. We're here for four, three, two, and one. Perfect. Incline push up with your version of knee to elbow. We take off in five, three, two. Here we go. There is no rush, right? Really just simply take your time on these. Inhale down, strong exhale, push. 30 seconds, come on. So strong, push that box away. 20 seconds. Last 10, come on. You got it, belly tight. Nice, we have three, two, and one. Here's where we get our 30 second rest. Grab some water. I'm feeling easily gassed and dehydrated. Okay, before we start round two in 10 seconds, ask yourself, how can you make some improvements? Mindful connection, once again, look at your alignment, keep your core on, three, two, here we go. Inhale down, exhale, push, exhale, push to the top, nice. Less than 30. So good. Come on. Fifteen seconds. Ten more. Come on. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Fifteen seconds. Here we are, five, four, three, two, push. Come on, yes, yes. Really strong, explosive push to the top of that box. We have less than 30 seconds. 20, 10 more seconds. Look at your alignment. We have five, we have three, two, and one. Time for those push ups. Firing up your core, open up your chest. Triceps are involved here too. We have five, four, three, two, here we go. much harder I'm finding to keep my core engaged at the very bottom. 
with this knee up. Feel into that. Ask yourself, what is the challenge that I'm faced with here? If there is zero challenge, you gotta find a challenge. Make it harder. 15 seconds. So good. Come on. We have five. We have three, two, and one. Final 30 second break before we go through one more time. All the beverages this morning. Nice cold coffee. All right. We take off in five. Final piece. Finish strong. Three, two. Here we go. Excellent. Come on. 30 seconds. more seconds. Yes, yes. 15. Come on. Seven more seconds. We have five. We have three, two, one. Certainly gets your heart rate up, right? Taking off an eight. Five, three, two, here we go. I think I got shaky legs already. Beautiful. Big push, come on. 30 seconds. Twenty seconds. Fifteen. Come on. We have ten. Last five. Three, two, one. Push ups. Taking off an eight. Super strong through that core. Chest and tries. Here we go. Three, two, let's go. So good. Nice. Come on. You got this. Less than 30. About 15 seconds. Yeah, come on. If you're tired, keep pushing through. Come on. We got it. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Fantastic work. We will be done with the step. So you can go ahead and put that up off to the side. Okay, second strength set. Same format, 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds rest between movements, 30 seconds rest in between the whole gamut, okay? Side to side, static lunge with a kettlebell row. What this is going to look like is, let's start here. This is likely a new move for all of us. So feel free to start with like a moderate weight and then on round two, you can go a little heavier. So we reach over, we row, come up through the middle, toss it, row, up through the middle, row. Now this whole arm thing that I'm doing with the oxidizer, it doesn't have to happen, but I do find it to just feel more natural. Take that where you want to, okay? You don't have to do this opposition. 
We then have forward lunge with bicep curl. So you're gonna step forward, curl, push back. Step forward, curl, push back. Now if that feels a little too challenging, curl, push back, come down, push back, come down. As we fatigue, you might wanna go to that second option. We finish with side V-ups. We'll have enough time as we get down to the floor where I'll show you those or remind you what those look like. For 45 seconds, let's do two, two. Two, 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 side to side, okay? All right, first round, we take off in 15 seconds. Take it off in 10. I'm gonna go over to the left, so the weight is in my right. Five, four, belly is tight. Three, two, reach down to that left. Row, up through the center. Come on. Nice work. 30 seconds. Twenty seconds. Come on. Fifteen. Yes. Certainly getting the core, bit of the back, inner thighs. Come on. We have five, we have three, two, and one. Fantastic work, very good. Forward lunge with those bicep curls. Taking off in seven. Three, two, here we go. Again, I'm starting off with a little bit more of the challenging version more challenging because you're in an isometric hold there at the bottom trying to find stability as you go through these curls 25 seconds come on you got it we have 15 10 more seconds We have five, we have three, two, one. All right, quick review of those side V-ups. We're on our side. We either tuck or we pike up. Three, two, here we go. Rotate, two and two. Exhale as you fold in half, whether that's with straight legs or with bent. Wrap your TVA. 25 seconds. Come on. We have just about 15. Come on. Squeeze your toes together. Try not to let them separate. Five, so good, come on. Three, two, and rest. 30 seconds. Two more rounds of that. Make sure on those lateral lunges with the row that your core is very strong, that you're not rounding the torso forward. 10 seconds. <clears throat> Take it off in five, three, two, here we go. Reach on down, row, up and over. There is no rush. Take your time. One. It's kind of a double bicep 
whammy here, back to back. Because when you row, you do use your biceps. Okay, three, two, here we go. Find the pace that works for you. Meet yourself where you can. Try to challenge yourself. 20 seconds. Fifteen. Last ten. Up, oh, come on. We have five. Squeeze in one more. Three, two, one. Side to sides. Eight seconds. Let's start on the opposite side. Three, two. Here we go. Big reach. Yes. Wrapping, probably the most important piece here. Making sure you're wrapping your TVA. You have less than 30 seconds. Twenty seconds. Coming into our final ten. Up, up. We have five. We have three, two, one. Ooh. Thirty seconds. One more time. Twenty seconds. We get through this round. We take a little breather. We talk about what is in store for our first Tabata. After that, we have one more Tabata, and we're done. Eight seconds. Taking off in five, three, two. Let's go slow. Row up and over. Less than 30. Uh huh. 20 seconds. Less than 15. Core is engaged. We have five. Three, two, one. Spicy. 10 seconds. Take a deep breath. Five, four, three, two, here we go. This one's certainly a pretty big challenge. Ten more seconds though. Let's go. We have four. Finish it up. Three, two, one. Great job. Side V ups. Six seconds. Three, two, up. Thirty-five seconds. Get tiny, extend, tiny, extend. Come on, pull the core back. It's wrapping. Pelvic floor is lifted. TVA has wrapped up and around it. 15.
10 more seconds. We have five, three, two, one. Breather. Feels like doomsday is coming with Tabata. Let's just review real quick. So, as this workout is written right now, and how, where I am in my cycle, we're doing, I'm doing this as if where, where I'm at, it's not as if I'm in the luteal phase. Not quite where I need to taper it back though, okay? I kind of just entered. So that's why we've kept our rest times to about 30 seconds. Could possibly extend it a little bit, specifically if we were doing just like pure, pure, pure strength, we want to extend it a little bit. Anyways, with the Tabata, where you are in your cycle, early phase, I want you to crush. Push, push, push. It's 20 seconds of maximum effort. 10 seconds rest. You've got to get through eight total rounds. The way I have it written, it feels like just four. Okay, we have two movements that we alternate between. So think four rounds, get through it. If you're in the later half of your cycle, slow it down. Don't go to that max place, okay? Take it easy to some degree. You're still gonna be working pretty darn hard. Just don't go to that maximal effort, okay? All right, so our moves. What we got going on here, kettlebell swing, and then close grip push-up or overhead press, okay? So we know kettlebell swings. For the close grip push-up, hands are close. They don't have to be that close, but we don't want them here. So we want to be in a little bit closer. You can do this at an incline, absolutely. You could do it with your hands on a weight. That also works, okay? But otherwise, hands are here, we're down, back up. Okay, those are the two moves that we have to work on. Try to see, like what I like to do is count my reps, at least in the beginning, until I give up on that. See if you can beat your reps or meet your reps for each of these rounds, okay? All right, taking off in seven seconds. We take off in four, three, two, let's go. In 10 seconds. Come on. Three, two, and one. Close grip push up. Seven. These are going to get really hard. <laughs> Three, two, here we go. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. Round two. Kettlebell swing. Five, four, three, two. Let's go. Less than ten. Come on. We have five. Three, two, one. Close grip. Five, four, three, two. Let's go. Pull those shoulders away from your ears. Come on. Seven seconds. Three, two, one. Definitely lose speed on those. Swings. Two more rounds. Three, two, let's go. Ten seconds. One. Ooh, oh. Five. Three. Two. 
Here we go. So strong. Come on. Yes, you can. Five, uh, three, two, one. One more. We can. Come on. Five, three, two. Here we are. Come on, we have five, three, two, one, two minutes rest right here. Why two minutes? Because if you were doing maximal effort, you would need those two minutes to rest up to get ready for our next Tabata. Our next Tabata, we have kettlebell squat cleans. We started in the warm-up of those with our dynamic portion, right? We're gonna to try to be quick, okay? So 20 seconds, kettlebell squat cleans. Then, one side of the body, single arm push press, boom, boom, boom. We go back to squat clean, go to push press on the other arm. Those are our moves. Say you have really light weights, say you don't have access to something heavy, do two, two weights for the push press. Boom, boom. But if you've got something heavier, go ahead and please do just one side of the body. A little bit more than 30 seconds. This will be it for us, okay? Just gotta get through this next set and we're done. I think I was a little off on the timing there. I'd say right now we have about 30 seconds. Again, you should feel like your heart rate has come all the way down by the time we start this next set, okay? That's again that two minute rest. We have 20 seconds. All right. We take off in 10. Here we go, ladies. Five, four, three, two. Let's go. Eight seconds. We have five, three, two, one. Still not feeling too fast on those. All right. First side of push press. Three. Two, here we go. Seven seconds. Three, two, one. I feel like overall I'm losing steam massively, very quickly. Squat clean. Three. Two, here we go. Come on. Ten seconds. We have five. We have three, two, one. Push press. Five. Three, two, here we go. Come on, strong. You can do it. 10 seconds. We have five, we have three, 
two, one, five seconds, three, two, here we go. Fantastic work. Very, very good. Lengthening your hips. Surrendering. Close your eyes. Acknowledge all the work that you just put in, how you showed up for yourself. You carved out the time to make this happen. For your mental health, for your physical health, even for your spiritual health. The growth that's possible from putting ourselves through 45 minutes of something challenging, right? Let's switch sides. Let's not also forget that one of the greatest challenges that we face <laughs> is being kind to ourselves, right? Showing up with love and compassion for ourselves. If this wasn't the workout of your dreams, right? Say you're not entirely satisfied with how you showed up. Meet yourself there. Get curious. What wasn't lined up? Are you tired? Are you dehydrated? Is there stuff on your mind? Not every workout. It's not realistic to think that every workout will be able to give it 100%. Some days it's a little less. If we're cycle syncing, right? We know that towards the tail end of our cycle or before our bleed, if you want to think of it that way, our energy likely dips. We also don't want to be overly exerting, putting ourselves into a higher state of cortisol release, right? We do not want that. Take that right foot, cross it over, almost as if you're gonna be tying this shoe. Sit up nice and tall, little spinal twist. Let's counter that. And then reach up, fold forward. Ooh, yeah, that feels good. And you know, reminder, right? Here we are, holiday season. Things get a little, a little jam-packed during this time of year. We get a little overly stressed as well. So the beauty that can be found in these workouts is that you've carved out a little piece for yourself we don't need to bring any shit to that, right? So let go of 
the inner critic and just be happy that he showed up. <sighs> Reach up, fold forward. Let's talk nutrition and holidays and whatnot. Make it a goal to start your day with as protein heavy of a meal as you can. Let's stand it up, quadricep stretch. <sighs> Starting our day, protein packed is going to help us in every way <laughs> moving forward throughout the day. Um, it'll help stabilize our mood. It'll help prevent cravings later on in the day. It'll help stabilize our blood sugar. That's where the cravings can come from, right? Is when our blood sugar isn't stable, we create quick energy. And that's just a vicious cycle. So protein rich, get it in right now. This is your reminder. All said and done, ladies, that's it. That's all I got for you. Uh, throughout the week, look for some more of those gym quickies. Okay, I'll keep posting those as I have time in between clients fitting in little workouts. We'll call them exercise snacks. Um, yeah, and that's that. Take care. Love to you all. Reach out with any questions. Mwah.